uh, in the long run, which strategy will have higher yield, value investing or high frequency trading? Well, um, I have to say that I mean I, I think sort of out of all uh, the approaches to trading, that value uh, value investing must come out on top. Um, the, I mean, the father of value investing uh, was um, Benjamin Graham. Uh, his most famous pupil is perhaps Warren Buffett. And really what Benjamin Graham did, um, together with a colleague, and he wrote a book called The Intelligent Investor, which is really sort of encapsulates his approach to stock market investing. He made a very, very strong distinction between investing and speculation. And as far as he was concerned, once you do your analysis on the stock, the, you've got to, what you really want to do is to get the return of the principal in the first instance and then a reasonable return on top of that for taking that risk. And so what he was looking for is he was looking, he was analysing stocks and saying, well, what is the intrinsic value of this company? So, the, and where's the intrinsic value and where's the stock trading in relation to that? And so if he had a stock price that was trading sort of lower than the intrinsic value of the, the company, then, then, it was an in, then it was interesting to him. But then he would look deeper and he'd look into the metrics of that company and say, well, OK, and now have I got a margin of safety? So in other words, is it, is it good for me to invest in this company because I know that I've got some intrinsic value on the, on, on the face of it locked in, but how is the company going forward? So he would do this work and he would invest on that basis. And what he was saying on top of that was ignore stock market chatter, noise, the daily market movements. Completely ignore that. It's irrelevant. So he really was investing for the long term because he'd done this deep-seated analysis. He'd looked at the value uh, of, of his investment. And he said, right, you know, OK, I've done my homework uh, on, on my metrics. This, this is a goodbye. And, and ultimately, this should make me money. And I've got to ignore all the sort of stuff in between. I mean, one of his other uh, great quotes or comments was, in the short run, the stock market is a, um, a, a voting machine. In the long run, it's a weighing machine. So in other words, you know, you, you've got the prices of stocks moving up and down as people vote yes or no on them. But ultimately, in the long run, you know, the stock market is, is there. You know, you've got to define, yes, this, this, this company is worth such and such. People come to recognise that it is worth such and such because it produces these kind of results and pays these kinds of dividends over and over again. So I, I would say, yeah, value investing always outs.